We're going live now to Ankara, where Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed have been discussing bilateral relations and regional issues. Let's listen in. Ethiopian citizens who lost their lives. This year, we are celebrating the 125 years of our diplomatic relations with the Ethiopia. The foundation of those relations have been established during the Sultan uh, Abdul Hamid II and also the King of Abeshistan, uh, uh, Menedik. Today, we are uh, increasing the momentum uh, of our bilateral relations with the Ethiopia. Within the margin of uh, our talks, we discussed our uh, relations in uh, great details and we re-evaluated uh, our economic relations and we assessed the steps to be taken in order to realize one billion dollars of a bilateral trade. Uh, our investments have reached to a level of $2.5 billion in Ethiopia, and Ethiopia is the country which hosts the highest number of Turkish investments from infrastructure to transportation to the furnishings and textiles. And many of our companies are contributing to the national economy of Ethiopia. And our uh, companies are employing approximately 10,000 Ethiopian citizens. And we also hope that the investments of our companies in the Ethiopia will increase and we support and promote them in that regard. And at the same time, we are certain and we certainly believe that the Ethiopian government will support uh, our companies. In the field of humanitarian aid and development, we are undersigning very important projects together with Ethiopia. And there are many masterpieces in the Ethiopia which are the signs of uh, our well-rooted friendship and uh, alliance. Our chief consulate uh, building in Harar has been restored by uh, Tika. And this building has been put to service with thanks to the endeavors of Ma Maori Foundation. Distinguished members of the press, within the margin of our talks today, we also had a chance to exchange our views regarding to the regional and international matters. As you know, Ethiopia is going through very sensitive times. We had a chance to discuss uh, the developments in the region of Tigra. Ethiopia, which is really important in, uh, in uh, Africa, its territorial integrity and peace matters for us. So we will do our best to solve the conflicts uh, in temperance, and we are attaching significant importance to the resolution of uh, those conflicts in temperance. Otherwise, all the neighboring countries will be affected by those conflicts. Sudan and Ethiopia, uh, both of which are our allies, has uh, tensions in El Besheka region, and we discussed this issue as well. And uh, last week, I discussed this topic with Al Bukhran, uh, who I hosted in the capital in Ankara from Sudan. So hopefully, uh, we hope that this conflict will be resolved on the basis of dialogue. And as Turkey, we are ready to give any kind of support whatsoever for the peaceful resolution of the conflict, including but not limited to being a mediator. As I conclude my uh, speech, I also would like to share the news that the schools of the uh, Fethullah terrorist organization has been delegated to Marif Foundation. And I also would like to thank uh, Prime Minister for giving us this support in our fight against this terrorist organization in the presence of each one of you. I hope that our meeting will be proven auspicious. And without further ado, I'd like to yield the floor to Mr. Prime Minister. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 
Selamlar. A heartfelt gratitude to President Erdogan and his administration, as well as to the people of Turkey for the warm welcome accorded to me and my delegation. Ethiopia and Turkey are both ancient civilizations with a rich culture and past. Our two countries have enjoyed a long-standing and historical relationship dating back to the 16th century. Our historical and cultural bonds have stood the test of time. This has provided a firm foundation for our relations, which continue to be based on mutual respect and trust, as well as cooperation for joint development. Ethiopia values its friendship and partnership with Turkey and highly appreciates the establishment of the Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency office in Addis Ababa, the opening of which was the first in Africa. Your Excellencies, Turkey, with its strategic location at the bridge between Europe and Asia, has been shaped by international influences as much as it has shaped global affairs throughout its history. Today, modern and modern day Turkey stands as a model for national pursuing an independent national course of development defined by the interest of their own people. That's why it has been successful in building a dynamic and robust economy. I am pleased to note that from the great reformist and charismatic leader, Mustafa Kamal Ataturk, to the current transformational leadership of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Turkey has gone through exemplary nation building and consisting, consistent growth in all aspects. Since the reform process began in Ethiopia, April 2018, our two governments have been working together to expand and strengthen the bilateral relations. Ethiopia is determined to strengthen the existing trade and investment relations between our two countries. And we will continue to avail conducive investment condition for Turkish investors. Today, we have signed additional important agreements in other sectors to complement our long-standing relations. These signed political, diplomatic, economic and social cooperation agreements need to be strengthened, sustained, and made actionable. Besides these agreements, our people-to-people -people ties are also strengthening from time to time. Daily direct flight between Addis Ababa and Istanbul by our respective national carriers have augmented this. Moreover, the, tr the tremendous impact of the Turkish film industry in improving these existing ties between our two people is increasingly becoming visible. Your Excellencies, as you have, as you have eloquently stated in your own words during your official visit in 2015, Ethiopia has always been the land of tolerance and respect for differences. This summarizes the essence of Ethiopia's domestic as well as foreign policy. Ethiopia is a country of more than 80 languages and ethnicities. It is also a country of different religions with a population of more than 100 million. Ethiopians understand from their own experience the value of living together in harmony and the benefits of pursuing the paths of prosperity. We appreciate Turkey showing genuine friendship to Ethiopia in its time of need. Your Excellency, let me close by reiterating your description of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a reliable and trustworthy country. I wish to assure you that this will continue to be the defining 
characteristics of Ethiopia's policy. Once again, let me express my deep appreciation to you and through you to the people of to the people and government of the Republic of Turkey for the consistent support and friendship. I thank you. Since there are no members of the press from the Ethiopia, unfortunately, we will not be able to receive any questions. So we will greet you and we will, we will put an end to our meeting.